Uh, to our next uh, tutorial video where we are going to see the modeling of an RCC roof. So today we are going to cover up this roof uh, which is a kind of a square ship building and uh, over here you can see a, a tilted roof then flat obstacle then there's a flat obstacle again this is a flat roof kind of and there's a, another obstacle where we can see there are two air vents uh, kind of uh, circular objects this might be the uh, kind of uh, uh, water tanks so we will design that as well and we will see like in just three to four minutes of time how we can uh, design this to make it easier for you i'll just uh, explain you how which which tool needs to be added uh, or uh, which tools needs to be used uh, whenever you are doing creating a model so to create a model it's very easy on solar labs just go on to the tools and see search for the model tool and as we need to uh, create a polygon uh, shape, so we will select a polygon tool. For the polygon tool, there are shortcuts. So as you can see, P, R, C, W, E, H, N, T are some of the shortcuts that you can use for easier drawing. So for now, I'm using the polygon tool. In later part of the modeling, I'll use P for the polygon tool and uh, for the pitch roof I'll be using R. So today's video we will cover up uh, only the RCC roof and RCC roof designing and then uh, we will place the panels as well. I will show you different orientation of the panels that can be placed onto this roof. So I'll just start from this point and uh, we will just create a uh, four points uh, using the polygon tool. So once we have created the four connected the four sides of the roof we need to enter the height of the building. So there are two kinds of height. So for the RCC roof, the base height height and uh, top height will be same. So in that case, you can just put it, give it a height. So I'm just taking 12 meters of height or let's say 16 meters of height, uh, considering this is a four floor building and uh, parafit, uh, parafit height being one meters. Perfect thickness you can change, then the, you can change the setback. Setback is over here. So we have taken a setback of 0 0.5 meters. Uh, if you want to change it to some other uh, 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 like number, you can just change it. You have an edit option over here. If you want to uh, like uh, click on obstruction ignored or obstruction to be taken care in uh, to be considered while generating the heat map. So you can just uh, toggle this button and on and off and we can click on update so i'll talk about in uh, more details about heat map in the later part of the videos where we'll be explaining you all the features so, uh, after the panel placement so over here i'll just create a roof and uh, over here we can see like uh, the there are few obstacles but to see like uh, how the roof looks like as a flat structure, I'll just show you by clicking on view and clicking on 3D. So this is how the flat roof will look like. And in the flat roof, you can see like there are some obstacles. So we will make those obstacles as well. Firstly, we need to change it to 2D and then we create the obstacles. So now I'm using the polygon tool and uh, press, pressing P onto the keyboard so that uh, the obstacle uh, like polygon tool can be activated. And then we start making the obstacles. So once we have made the obstacle, we need to give, give the obstacle height and this height needs to be given from the rooftop. So let's say I'm taking a height of three meters and update. And over here, as we can see, uh, there is uh, a tilted roof, which is facing towards this direction. If you can see my cursor moving towards this direction to clear you over the, uh, like how the map we considered. So over there, uh, there is a compass on the right hand corner which shows downward is south right is east upward is north and left is west so when some roof is facing towards this corner so we can just understand this is facing towards between south and east so it would be southeast uh, azimuth facing roof so once we create the polygon structure we will change the azimuth of the roof towards southeast Just a sec, uh, I'll take it uh, polygon. 
and then we will give it a azimuth. So here you can see the azimuth and we will find the southeast direction arrow. We will click on this. Then we will give it a base height. Base height would be the shortest height. So let's say 3 meters and uh, take it as a 15 degree of tilt. So top height is calculated automatically and we can click on update. Now, uh, if you want to uh, make this flat roof, we will use the polygon tool again. And then we will just click on four sides and update it. So here, as we can see, like if we want to readjust it, we can just readjust uh, by dragging the mouse so that the adjustment can be in a proper way. The dimensions can be in a proper way and we'll give it a height. Let's say three meters of height again. Then uh, we will make this model. This is one of the obstructions where we have cylindrical object. So I'll just give it a height of three meters and update. Then we will use the cylindrical tool, uh, the cylinder tool to make the cylindrical objects. So I'll just click on cylinder and then we will make this cylinder and we'll give it a height, let's say 1.5 meters and update. So here, uh, once we have created the object, we will just, uh, to replicate the same object, we will do copy paste, that is control C by using control C and control V. And uh, once we have generated the object over here, we can place it anywhere onto the roof. For a smooth movement of the uh, obstacle, you just need to press Alt onto the keyboard so that the movement is smooth and you can place accordingly. So once we have placed these two obstacles, you can see like how the roof has been made. Again, we will use the polygon tool and we will make this obstacle. And then we'll give it a height of let's say one meters or let's say 0 0.5 meters. So once we have created the model, we have just uh, placed the roof and uh, made the roof and uh, created the obstacle. In 3D, if you want to see, click on view and click on 3D. And this is how the roof will look like. Now, if we want to consider this where uh, panels needs to be placed so you can just click on click it on and make it as ignored so while placing the panels this will be ignored this obstacle will be ignored other obstacles uh, over the roof will be taken in consideration so here i have kept it not ignored and this one as ignored where the panels needs to be placed fully so uh, on the rcc roof there are three methods of placing the panels so one is a fill face so once we click onto the roof let's say once we click onto the roof there is a fill face option over here on the right hand side so once we click on fill face it will place the maximum number of panels onto the rooftop in true south direction so this is a true south direction that is pure south as i said facing towards this direction and it has not considered this obstacle as well so if you will see it has been placed over this obstacle let me show you what will happen if we consider this obstacle so i'll just ignore it and i'll update it so you can see the panels are removed from this obstacle and if we just ignore it and update it and then we uh, do a fill face again so let's say i'll do a fill face again so it has placed the panels now let's say uh, a customer is there who wants to place the panels and not in two sub directions because the orientation of the panels he want uh, the orientation of the panels towards this direction which is facing southeast so in that case you can go to the subarray properties just by clicking on any of the panels go to the subarray click on the azimuth towards southeast direction and update it 
So now here we can see like the panels has been placed in south east direction facing and it is table size 1 cross 1. Now let's say I want to place a uh, panel of uh, 2 cross 2 and uh, we update. So this is how the panels will be placed in two so, uh, like southeast direction with a 2 cross 2, cross two panel placement. If you want to see in 3D, I'll just go to the view option and click on 3D again. So now here, as you can see, the panels has been placed. Over here, the obstacle has been ignored. And as you can see, like you can see the model like this. Another method of placing the panels onto the roof is using a uh, add table mode. So add table mode can be activated going to the panels and clicking on add table mode. So once we click on add table mode, a single panel comes up over here and you can place the panels anywhere. So uh, we can uh, place the panels like this. So just need to drag the panels and you can place it. So this is according to you, like how you want to place the panels with what distance and everything. And let's say if you don't want to place the panels like this, if you want to place the panels in uh, same direction, southeast direction. So I'll change the azimuth towards southeast and then I'll make it two cross four. So you can see two cross four panels has been taken and now we can place it like this. So likewise, you can place the panels. So this is one of the other methods that you can use to place the panels. If you want to copy paste the panels, you can copy paste the panels as well like this. And if you want to make a multiple of it, so you can increase the repeat count over here. So let's say I want to repeat count of two. So then there would be a two that would be coming in and then we can place it. If you readjust it, it would be placed according to that. So let's say uh, uh, if I don't want to readjust it and I want to delete these panels over here. So deletion of the panels can be done in few methods. So one is a lasso tool, but for now I'll just use a simple deletion method that is I'll delete one by one. So this is one of the methods. And let's say if I want to delete these panels over here, these two panel sets. So for that, I'll use a lasso tool. So for the bulk removal of the panels, I'll use a lasso tool. So we need to search for the panel sets. And then we need to take the area. And then we mark the area accordingly. We select the panels and you can see like all the panel sets set has been uh, sub arrays has been selected and we can delete it. So this is one of the methods that you can delete the panels. Now there's another method that you can use to place the panels is add sub array mode. So in that you can select an area that you want to place the panels. Once you complete the selection of the area, the panels will be placed automatically within those area. So let's say I want to place it over here. So I'll go to the sub array again. So as you can see, the panels has been placed in two south direction over this, in this area. And you can readjust the panels towards whatever facing that you want to. And we have a database of the panels that uh, can be uh, 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 like 3000 panel database is there. So basically you can use those panel database to according to your panel selection. So let's say I want to change the panel selection to Vikram and uh, 450. I'll just search for it. It will show me all the Vikram 450 and above panels. So as you can see Vikram 450 and above. So likewise, you can change the panel sets. Once we save it, we can just uh, see all the uh, panels has been saved and then we uh, 
go back and uh, we can optimize this roof by just uh, opening the uh, by uh, doing a shadow analysis so shadow analysis on th this roof can be done uh, by using different methods so there is sun simulations where you will be able to see the sun simulation for january to december and for any time so as you can see the sun movement and you can even play this button so that you will see the shadow patterns so it shows for the whole day for the whole year but it becomes very difficult for a designer to do a 365 days uh, simulation. So what we do, we run the sun simulation in our backend and we give an output in terms of heat map and solar access. So heat map and solar access when it's switched on, it will give you which panels are shadowed and which panels are not shadowed and then you can optimize. So heat map will give you like which, which roof is in my shadowed area which part of my roof is in shadowed area and uh, which part of my roof has is getting higher irradiations. So the yellow region uh, over the roof shows you the higher irradiation region. Whereas the purple region shows you like how the panels has been uh, like this area is getting more number of shadows. So to remove these panels which are in the shadowed regions. So we can just click on optimize and uh, do this uh, uh, optimization things. So, but before that, I will just like to explain like uh, what is this uh, red panel and green panels means. So, as we can see over here, the red panel is showing average solar access of 78.9 percentage. That means for 78.9 percentage of the time throughout the so throughout the solar time uh, of the year it will be shadow free the rest of the time it will be shadowed whereas the green panels over the start if i click on those it shows 98.4 that means it receives the higher solar access that means it has higher uh, it receives more sunlight than these shadowed panels so as per general logic we need to remove these panels but if we remove it one by one it will take a lot of time so in that case we just optimize it and remove it so we save this design and click on optimize and then we toggle this bar towards left and it will remove the low working panels as you can see from here so it has removed all the lower working panels and here you can see that average solar access threshold is 95 percentage that means all these panel sets are none of the panels are less than solar access of 95 percentage so that means 95 percentage of this time throughout the solar time throughout the year it will have the solar access so then we close it and then we save it so as we have done this uh, this thing for the uh, this roof uh, right now uh, for the rcc roof in the next part of the video we will do the same thing for the um, this shed roof so stay connected and let's meet in the next video where you if you want to learn about how to create a, a like a roof of uh, on the shed so i'll just uh, take up and uh, take this up in the next video and uh, stay connected with us and uh, we talk again